Today we're going to make the famous Vespa Martini from Casino Royale. And uh, sometimes I've not been a great tender to detail in my previous martinis and cocktails, but today I'm going to try and get everything right. I've put a bit of effort into this one. Uh, to, it's quite a tricky one to do. Easy to start, but uh, there's a few things we have to get right. First, we start with vodka and uh, Bond and Ian Fleming are quite certain we need to start with Gordon's. Three measures of Gordon's was what he says in Casino Royale, and three is what he's going to get. Then we need one measure of vodka. He doesn't specify which, so I think it's okay to use uh, O brand. No point in wasting money on expensive vodka that you're never going to taste. But then it gets tricky. Uh, Bond says he wants half a measure of Kina Lille, and I bought this thinking this was the stuff, but it's not. I, I got stitched up for, for Lille Rosé, which is not even near to what we should be having. And Kina Lille is no longer made. It was a very quinine flavoured vermouth. Uh, but if you go onto, the, onto Google, the nearest thing you can get is Cochi Americano. Nothing to do with America, but it is a very quinine vermouth. And that's the nearest you can get to what Bond orders, so half a measure of that. Now we're nearly there, but it's still a bit tricky because shaken or stirred. Mm. Bond says shaken, but everybody who's an expert thinks that Ian Fleming was taking the piss and that actually stirred is the correct way for a martini. You shake cocktails with fruit in them, but a martini should have been stirred. So we're going to stir it. We're going to take a nice piece of lemon into the glass. And this, when I've finished, will be the perfect James Bond martini named after Vespa Lynn. It's quite a big martini. It be quite strong. Cheers. Oh, that is nice. 